Hello, my name is Greg Austin, and I am a gastroenterologist at the University of Colorado. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related death in the U.S. Fortunately, colorectal cancer is one of the few cancers for which effective screening strategies are available that can both detect early cancers and prevent cancer by removal of precancerous adenomas. Experts agree that screening for individuals at average risk for colorectal cancer should begin at age 50. Some groups are at increased risk for colorectal cancer at an earlier age, and these high-risk groups require earlier and more frequent screening. Individuals who have a first-degree relative diagnosed with colorectal cancer before age 60 have been shown prospectively to be at increased risk for colorectal cancer. Their risk of colorectal cancer between the ages of 40 and 50 is sufficiently high that the consensus guidelines from the American Cancer Society, the U.S. Multi-Society Task Force on Colorectal Cancer, and the American College of Radiology recommend these individuals begin screening at age 40 with colonoscopy at five-year intervals. These consensus guidelines also recommend the same early and more frequent screening with colonoscopy for individuals who have a first-degree relative who is diagnosed with an adenoma before the age of 60. Conversely, the guidelines from the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force do not recommend earlier or more frequent screening for individuals with a first-degree relative diagnosed with an adenoma before the age of 60. The purpose of our study was to review the evidence for and the implications of this more aggressive screening recommendation. First, we systematically searched the literature for articles which addressed the risk of colorectal cancer in individuals who had a first-degree relative with an adenoma. We evaluated whether the risk of colorectal cancer was increased if the first-degree relative had the adenoma diagnosed before the age of 60, and whether the cancers occurred with increased frequency before age 50. The overwhelming majority of the published literature are case control studies in which individuals undergoing colonoscopy were questioned as to whether they had one or more first-degree relatives with colorectal cancer. However, there are not any published prospective studies that address whether unaffected first-degree relatives of an individual diagnosed with an adenoma are at increased risk of colorectal cancer compared to individuals who do not have a first-degree relative with an adenoma. Furthermore, in the majority of these studies, individuals were undergoing colonoscopy primarily because of symptoms as opposed to screening. Additionally, the average age of the index adenoma cases and the age at which they reported their first-degree relative was diagnosed with colorectal cancer were over the age of 60. Of the four studies that specifically looked at individuals diagnosed with an adenoma between 50 and 60 years old, only one found a significantly increased risk of having one or more first-degree relatives who had been diagnosed with colorectal cancer. In summary, the evidence that first-degree relatives of individuals with an adenoma diagnosed before age 60 are at increased risk for colorectal cancer themselves is weak and inconsistent. Furthermore, there is no evidence that these first-degree relatives are more likely to be diagnosed with colorectal cancer before the age of 50. Given the uncertainty behind the evidence for the consensus guideline recommendation, we sought to model the impact that its implementation would have on our patient population and their first-degree relatives, particularly their children. Using our own data, we focused specifically on individuals 50 to 59 years old who were at average risk for colorectal cancer who underwent a screening colonoscopy. We found that 32% of men and 21% of women in this age group had one or more adenomas. Based on these gender-specific adenoma detection rates, almost half of the population that would currently be considered average risk and would be instructed to begin colorectal cancer screening at age 50 may potentially be considered high risk and instructed to begin screening at age 40. The financial implications of adhering to this guideline would be daunting, and one must also consider other burdens such as iatrogenic complications, loss of time from work, and the potential anxiety of being labeled at increased risk for colorectal cancer. An important question is whether we should pursue this more intensive screening recommendation given our low levels of overall compliance with colorectal cancer screening. Although screening rates are slowly increasing, they lag behind those of other effective cancer screening tests, such as pap smears and PSA testing. The CDC recently estimated that only 55% of adults 50 to 64 years old are adequately screened for colorectal cancer. Because the incidence of colorectal cancer begins to accelerate after age 50, we could find and prevent more colorectal cancers by increasing screening compliance in these individuals starting at age 50. We conclude that the implications of recommending more intensive screening of first-degree relatives of patients with adenomas diagnosed before age 60 are enormous, especially given the lack of evidence for this recommendation. Before adopting any guidelines, 
we need to define whether there is a subgroup that is truly at increased risk of colorectal cancer and focus our more intensive screening efforts on this high-risk subset. Until then, first-degree relatives of individuals with adenomas diagnosed before age 60 should be screened as average-risk persons.